Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Christian Byer coming at you from, uh, well, my porch. I've gotten some questions from you guys. Uh, you know, where I've been for the last month. Uh, I obviously was uploading on a weekly basis for the first month of the channel. And the uh, outcome of that was tremendous. Uh, really, really incredible. Uh, actually, I believe uh, this past week the channel has hit over 5,000 subscribers, which is uh, kind of mind blowing to me. Uh, I never expected it to, to do that well that quickly. Uh, honestly, I didn't really know what to expect out of it going into it. So uh, it's really incredible. I'm thankful for all the subscribers that have enjoyed the content so far, and uh, I apologize for uh, my lack of content the past month now. Uh, I kind of to address before we get into this tool haul uh, to address a little more about what's been going on behind the scenes a few a handful of things uh, one one thing I got a few opportunities due to my channel and those things along with my regular life have been keeping me quite busy um, along with that uh, as the channel grew uh, very quickly uh, one of the goals of mine realizing what was happening with it and draw to it uh, was to make sure that what I was doing was uh, legit and legal um, being that uh, it's not my shop that I'm working in so that was a process that within the first couple weeks of the channel being up uh, after that first tr toolbox tour video if you guys haven't seen it uh, be sure to check that out but uh, after that toolbox tour video and the response I got on that uh, I decided it would be best to get some uh, legal verification and things like that. So we started that process and obviously with the size of the company uh, that I work for, uh, it's a little bit of a slow drawn out process. And uh, we got that process rolling and there's a, a tremendous amount of support uh, from our marketing department. Uh, some very high up management in the company uh, really wanting this to move forward and so it actually moved forward fairly quickly uh, we got it up to legal and uh, we've been dealing with that side of things uh, trying to work something out and, and you know without going into too much detail uh, that's that process has gotten slowed up obviously by uh, COVID-19 so uh, you know between me being busy uh, waiting on that process um, I've uh, kind of been off YouTube. Uh, that being said, I believe I did make a post for my followers on YouTube because um, there was so much uh, of people asking for day in the life type videos. Um, I did make a post on the YouTube um, for people to go follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'll put my Instagram link in the description. I believe it is uh, Christian W. Uh, Buyer. Uh, that I keep up on. Uh, I'm pretty consistent with content, uh, a lot of stories and uh, posts about what I'm doing, uh, you know, as far as my job. Uh, a lot of people have been following the channel, I believe, for the heavy equipment side of things. So, that being said, uh, definitely follow me uh, for the day in the life type content on my Instagram. That's still rolling. Uh, I'm still keeping up with that. Um, I really enjoy showing you guys what I'm doing there. So, so far, uh, that's still up and going. So definitely be sure to check out that Instagram account. Um, as far as content moving forward, I obviously would like to uh, give back to this channel uh, and keep the content coming forward. I know a lot of you have followed me, I believe, for the, the tools and the heavy equipment side of things. Uh, I am a mechanic by trade. Uh, I not only work at the dealership, but I also do automotive repair on the side. Um, as well as my own projects and things like that. Uh, this weekend I actually just got my uh, 2005 Chevy 1500 out of winter storage. Um, so I plan to do a few projects moving forward through the summer. A lot of plans for that truck in the future. They're not all going to happen right away. But um, my other Instagram account uh, for the truck itself is the Midnight Mistress. Uh, I'll link that also in the description. Be sure to check that out if you want to follow along with uh, kind of in the moment uh, type uh, content as far as the projects going on with that. Um, but I'd like to hear from you, 
you guys down in the con uh, in the comments, you know, what kind of content uh, would you be interested? In? Obviously, at, at this moment, we're going to stay out of the shop uh, just to make sure that uh, we're following guidelines. Um, I'm planning to do some truck projects. I'd like to continue to do these tool hauls, um, you know, and show you guys the new tools I'm purchasing, uh, as well as review some of the tools as I use them. So uh, a lot of you are here for the tool content, so I'll keep that going. Um, let me know if the truck projects is something that you'd be interested in. And like I said, obviously follow my uh, follow my my Instagram accounts, uh, the Midnight Mistress and uh, Christian W. Buyer. I'll, I'll put links to those down in the description. So that all being said, that little spiel's over. Let's get into the uh, tool haul. So, the first thing I bought is this uh, OTC, I don't remember the size, but I, I, I have the num uh, model number here, uh, 1166 um, internal bearing race puller, this is quite a huge puller, um, we use a number of these sizes and I actually already have a couple of them that were seen in my toolbox tour. Uh, this actually went on sale, I got a really good deal on this, uh, so I picked this up, I believe this is... Uh, Normally, it's normally a couple hundred bucks. I think I got it for just under a hundred bucks, right around a hundred bucks. So, really good deal there. So, I couldn't pass that up. Next thing I got uh, basic exhaust back pressure tester. Uh, it is an OEM tools brand. Uh, I believe you can see here that this is the actual exhaust gauge, the exhaust back pressure gauge. Uh, it's got readings up to uh, three inch pounds, or uh, three PSI, uh, uh, sorry. And obviously has the adapter for the 12 mil and the 18 mil uh, threads, as well as uh, maybe a four foot hose. This tool I actually bought out of necessity. Um, my brother was back visiting and he had codes for his O2 sensors, so uh, before we just threw O2 sensors at it, I wanted to make sure that his catalytic converter was good. Uh, now the cat was like $300 uh, to replace. So I picked this up, I believe it was like 70 bucks, and tested it, and it, it paid for itself right away. Like I said, um, he had like one PSI back pressure, or just under one PSI back pressure. So uh, obviously the cat wasn't bad. So like I said, it's really cool when tools pay for themselves. Uh, and this is one that did right off the bat. So. Um, I have that now. The next thing I got uh, is this Milwaukee Fuel straight die grinder. These just came out in March. So I actually haven't used this yet. Uh, like you see here, it does have the three speed settings. I believe the 90 goes up to like 24,000, uh, 24,000 and a half RPMs. This, I believe, only does 2100 or 21,000 RPMs, uh, so a few thousand RPMs less. At first, um, you know, I, I looked at this thing, and I was like, you know, it, it feels a little off balance. Like, it wants to tip forward, obviously, with no battery in it, but it still seemed a little off balance. But I got to looking at it a little more, and they actually designed it for you to grip it with your uh, pointer finger up here on the front of it. And I, I guess maybe uh, subconsciously that is how I grip it. Uh, grip most die grinders and run the trigger with my rear three fingers. That was the only thing at first I was like, ah, oh, that's a little odd about it. Obviously with the bigger batteries, that's going to be less of an effect. Um, I, I think this thing is going to be a really cool tool. Uh, this is something that we can definitely review in the future, but uh, really cool tool I had to pick up. I've loved my 90 and uh, I really wanted this, uh, this to try out. So we picked this up recently and uh, we're going to test it out pretty quick here. Another tool that I've had for a little while now, uh, and definitely put through the uses. Uh, some of the other guys that I work with have these as well. These are made by a company called Forma Funnel here in the U.S. They are uh, a lead or probably aluminum, I suppose, uh, sheet inside of this rubber um, coating, and it's like a silicone-based coating, so it's obviously chemical resistant, heat resistant, and all that. Uh, this one's a little longer and a little wider. Um, but these things are just great for, you know, you get in one of them tight, weird spots where you just 
can't quite uh, drain the oil out cleanly. Uh, you know, you don't want to get oil all over the place. These things are freaking awesome. I've posted them up on my Instagram stories a couple of times, uh, seen them in use. But I picked these up on Amazon fairly cheap. These things are just a great tool um, for anybody doing oil changes uh, or any sort of fluid changes, lawn mowers, all the way up to heavy equipment. So uh, another great tool that I've had for a little while and I haven't shown, and it's been really awesome. So next up, I have a BOGO here. Uh, these are from Snap-on. These are the six piece, uh, my bad, eight piece. Uh, yep, each of them are eight piece uh, ball tip hex sockets. Uh, it was buy one, get one. So, this is one of those deals where I had this tool on my list. I wanted both the standard and the metric, um, and they went on BOGO, so I had to pick them up, obviously. Uh, I believe I've used them a handful of times. Uh, obviously, time will tell as far as strength I know a lot of ball tips especially cheaper ball tips if you use them to break uh, bolts loose the tips like to break off of them so test these out and time will tell how the quality is on them next up I had to jump on the bandwagon and uh, pick up these RBRT bits I believe they are from Mac um, we'll get a little bigger one here so that is the RBRT bit. Uh, these are hex bits for uh, normal use and for uh, rounded off fasteners. Um, I've only used them a couple of times, not necessarily out of necessity, just uh, testing them out. Uh, and so far, uh, you know, I can't really review them, but I will say that they're uh, even with the, uh, you know, the cutout grooves on the flats of each of these. Um, they really do dig in and my biggest concern with that was will they mar up the fastener that is not rounded out and so far I've not seen any of that so I'm actually fairly impressed with these so these I believe are exclusive through Mac right now um, definitely check these out if you haven't already I know they've been quite the hype but I really think that you know with hex, hex fasteners hex uh, socket fasteners they tend to round out pretty simply and uh, pretty easily and uh, this might be a good solution for a lot of you out there and dealing with rusted ones especially. Next up I got another BOGO deal here from Snap-on. Uh, these are the, the long long metric and standard uh, hex bit sockets uh, without the ball tips on them. Uh, these went on BOGO. These were also these sets were also on my list, so I definitely had to pick these up. Uh, I had some medium length uh, straight ones, uh, but these are definitely uh, good for a little longer reach, and I have used them a handful of times, especially the thinner ones, trying to see what the twist on them was, how bad it was. And honestly, I'm impressed. Uh, the steel they're using for these is really good it's got enough spring in it that it uh, I don't think it'll brittle break and yet stay stiff enough that you're not losing a lot of your torque when using them so I've been pretty impressed the handful of times I've used these Next up, I have another BOGO. This is the ball tip version of the Snap-on long um, hex bit sockets. I obviously love BOGOs. Um, right now, uh, as I'm paying for my box, uh, I've got a little bit left on that, and I have been really sticking to the BOGO buys. Um, I don't know if I've ever talked about it in any of my videos, I think I have in my uh, Instagram stories, but one of my big things about buying tools is I hate going on the truck and just buying things at random. I'm pretty planned out with how I buy things and what I buy. I know that a lot of different things uh, go on BOGO deals throughout the year. So um, I 
you know, try to wait and jump on those things. It saves a ton of money when you're only buying one of these versus both of them. Um, I also use the Snap-on app. Uh, it's a great way to create a list and save uh, the exact sets that you want. Because I know a lot of times for myself, I like buying full sets of tools uh, versus, you know, just a seven-piece set here and then having to buy individuals to fill it in. Um, I like to buy full sets, and a lot of times the full sets don't go on BOGO deals um, or come, uh, come for sale very often. So in those cases, uh, I like to wait. Instead of buying, you know, a partial set and um, spending more money that way, I'd rather wait and buy a full set. So I'm pretty particular about how I buy things, and, um, you know, obviously a bunch of BOGOs for the hex, dry, or the hex uh, sockets came on. Uh, in the past um, few months in the beginning of this year so I definitely took advantage of those um, and bought them up so really awesome buys so all that being said uh, those are the tools that I bought uh, for the second tool haul of 2020 uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, little spiel about what's going on in my life uh, one thing I forgot to throw in there uh, is I I needed to find a new place also as well. Um, I'm moving here in May, so we did find a really nice place. So we'll be moving uh, not too far away, but uh, I uh, did go through the process of doing all that. And I don't know about other people, but for me, it's definitely a pain. And uh, I'm, I'm glad I got that over with. So that definitely consumed some of my time as well. Um, you know, I'd like to be bringing a little more consistent content. Like I said again, uh, definitely follow me on Instagram. I'm very active on there, um, and I really enjoy uh, bringing content on there. So, again, I apologize for the lack of content, and moving forward, I uh, will definitely try my best to bring you guys a little more consistent content. Cheers. Have a good night.